I don't always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I boil her up. Let's do the cow catcher. Start a new sketch on the XZ plane with some lines. The first line is going to be straight up 0.25. And then at a right angle, it is going to be 1.8. It is going to go straight down 0.25 to a point and then back. So one thing I want to do is use my equals constraint and make that equal. And I want to click on this point to here and make that 1. Alright, finish that sketch. Looks pretty good. Hit the plus sign on the origin and find the plane you're working on. In my case, it's the XZ plane. I'm just gonna left click on there. And then I'm going to click on offset plane. And we're gonna bring that up 0.75. And then we are going to start a sketch right on there. So there's lots of ways you can do this one. How I'm going to do this is I'm just going to draw a similar shape inside and we're doing the smaller, smaller or the top one. And we want this to be 1.2. We want this to be um, 0.25. We're going to make those equal. We want our entire dimension from the black line to here to be 0.75. Alright, let's make those equal. Looks good. I'm going to zoom in, get that right on top, so I'm going to make that zero. Alright, now how do we line it up? We know the entire side is 1.8. So I'm going to see if this works. Let's project that. Grab it in the middle and make this 0.9. There we go, because 0.9 is half of 1.8. Finish our sketch. And let's see if we can loft it. Go down under sweep. Alright, click here, click there. Click to add. Let's click here. Alright, so it seemed to work. Cool. Good job. I was kind of nervous about those lines that I projected. But if it works, it works, right? Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to shell out the bottom. So I'm going to flip it on its bottom. Click here. And let's click shell. And we want to make that 0.1. For me, it just defaulted to 0.1, so that's good. Click OK. And now we want to start a new sketch. Project the geometry. And let's offset this. Also 0.1. And we are going to extrude this in 0 0.05. And do the similar thing to the other side. Click new sketch. Project geometry. Offset it, 0.1, finish sketch, and extrude. Switch the distance, 0.05, okay. Let's flip it on the back side. And we want to make three points. So, start a new sketch on the back. Whoops, I didn't really mean to click that vertical line, but it'll probably come in handy. So let's put a point, again, trying to avoid any um, 
any of the lines. We don't want to get it constrained. They give the location of this bottom right one first. So the height of this is 0.125. And from the right side, it is 0.275. All right. So the horizontal, this is horizontal like this. And it is spaced out 1.25. All right, and then this is dimensioned from here to be 0.625. And the height of this point is also 0.625. Now let's place some circles on these points. Okay, I'm going to work on this one over here. The diameter is 0.125. All of those are equal because it says typical, so I'm going to click and click and then I'm also going to set that up. So now they're all equal. And let's finish and extrude those. I believe the extrusion is the same, 0.125. All right, let's chamfer it. Nope, that one, there it is. And we want to chamfer and use this second one. The distance we want is 0 0.01 and the degree is 45. So I'm going to click on both the, well, I guess it's only allowing me to do one. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, oops, sorry. Too many things going on. I'm going to click on the chamfer here and remembers what I did. Click on the surface and the, um, and the edge, do it again. Do not forget to change this over to ABS plastic and save your work.